the space was not being used to its fullest potential. And the space was not um, holding true, I felt like, to the neighborhood. So it was a really easy process to come in here and kind of strip it down and warm it up. We've got upwards of 50 pieces of art from all local artists, so it's a really great way to support the community and showcase local talent. And it's wonderful because I've met so many great people, we've made so many great customers, but the Monarch has really been able to grow organically with Delano. So we've kind of just been seeing where the neighborhood takes us and trying to adapt to our, to our new surroundings. So when I was working with uh, different designers on you know, putting together the logo and working on the menu, and everyone said, work with Baseline Creative. Um, so we had our initial meeting, and ever since then, uh, you and your team have made it exceptionally easy to work with you and to um, get jobs done in a timely manner, and the results are always fantastic. So if I had to pick a favorite bourbon right now, it would be, um, it would actually be a Tennessee whiskey. We were able to go down and learn about the legacy of Nearest Green and um, his contribution to the Jack Daniel legacy and the Tennessee whiskey legacy. It is a delicious whiskey, but the history behind it um, is what really makes it neat. It's a double bonus that it is the only woman-owned distillery in the United States. So I'm really excited to be able to support her um, as another woman-owned business. Probably my favorite menu item right now would have to be the grilled cheese and tomato soup. It's cold, we're at the dreary end of winter, so something warm, um, something warm for your body and for your soul is exactly what I need right now.